Big stories we're talking about on the big one today. For the second time in three days, the Tri-State's under a winter storm warning. Heavy snow falling this morning across the Tri-State. Four inches in some areas. And we're told that maybe another four inches could still be on the way over the next 24 to 36 hours. National Weather Service warning people to use caution as they head out today. Most of the schools in the Tri-State Elementary and High School are closed. Even some of the universities shut down. Xavier University closed today. Thomas Moore College did the same. Cincinnati State. You can find the complete list of closings at 700wlw.com if you search closings. Also at the local news page here at 700wlw.com we have all the information you need about snow emergencies, metro detours, and flight delays at our airport. You can check traffic conditions as well. Traffic been moving slow all day in the Tri-State. The road crews are out, but as the snow continues to fall, they're having trouble keeping the streets clear. This morning they had trouble getting through the heavy traffic in the Tri-State. They'll continue to work, they say, their way back into the residential areas, but it could take some time. In Cincinnati, cars have to be off the snow emergency routes. They are beginning to tow them now, if they are not. Level 1 snow emergencies are in effect for most of the communities across the area. The two exceptions that we have right now in Dearborn and Franklin counties in southeast Indiana. Level 2 snow emergencies there mean that people should only be traveling if they feel it's absolutely necessary or if they have a personal emergency. At this point, nowhere in the Tri-State are the roads closed. That would be a Level 3 snow emergency if it's issued. Again, you can check the local page at 700wlw.com a little bit later this afternoon to see if any of that information has changed. Looks like we'll be dealing with this bad weather probably for the next 24 hours. Court hearing today in Butler County for the teenager accused in the rape of a woman in Liberty Township. It's part one of a two-part hearing to determine if the 14-year-old should be tried as an adult. First, a juvenile court judge in Butler County has to decide if that teenager should face trial. Probable cause hearing today. If they find probable cause, then they will decide if he should be tried as an adult. Felony charges that could put him away for the rest of his life for the rape of Phyllis Mays. Her family members were in court for the last appearance of this 14-year-old wearing T-shirts on them. It said, no mercy. Lakota Schools is asking voters for more money. Board of Education approved tax levy to be put on the ballot in May. That's a two-step increase. Right away, tax bills would go up about 200 bucks on $100,000 of valuation if the levy is approved. Then by 2012, another $150 will be added to tax bills. Voters will have their say come May. In West Claremont, the school board on their own decided to raise taxes last night. They hiked inside millage on the property tax bill. So the average customer there, $100,000 evaluation means you'll be paying $70 more. Kings Island won't have to worry about an admission tax this summer. Mason City Council considered it last night and voted it down after a packed house for that meeting of the Mason City Council. The parking tax was rejected as well. She's a Tri-State native, the woman on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition that hit newsstands today, was born in Kettering. She still has family in Butler County. Her grandparents live in Madison Township and her brother lives in Middletown. She's Brooklyn Decker. She's 22 years old. She's the wife of tennis star Andy Roddick.